Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monsters video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get 100 free gems every food spurt. Every time there's a food spurt, I get about 100 gems and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do it and how you could possibly do it as well and earn yourself over 100 gems or at least guaranteed 100 gems. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, smash the like button. Also, if you guys are channel with the videos on. Anyways, let's go on and get started. So in case you didn't know, there is a food spurt literally every weekend. So every week you can do this. So right now there is a food spurt and I wanted to take uh, the advantage and record this video for you guys. So take a look at this. If I head over to Foodspurt right now, my ranking is top four. So I'm basically top four with 311 million food fed to my monsters. Um, so to in order to actually do this, you do need at least 300 million just to be safe. 300 million food. Um, so I have 1.6 billion at the moment, but I had about 2 billion in total. Uh, when I started feeding, it was around 1.9 billion. So 300 million fed already. Right now I have 1.6 billion, and it's super easy to get it back, anyways just by, of course, growing it. And I also made a um, video uh, not too long ago where I showed you guys how you can get tons of food and um, also tons of gold, which will help you get tons of food if that makes sense. So make sure to check out both of those videos. But once you get your gold and food up, especially food, of course, for this, you can go ahead and do this. I'm gonna just share the method. Um, not too many players really know about this, so I want to share it with you guys. Take a look at this. I'm gonna go on and sell this real quick, all right? I'm going to sell this as well. So take a look at this. I'm going to take both of these. You want to head over to your breeding. Make sure to free both of them. If you have one, that's completely fine. But it's easier when you have two of them. So go ahead and head over to your breeding. And you want to breed panikins. So in order to do that, you need a fire element monster with nature. So it could be any fire monster. It could literally be like a, a fire star with a tree zard. But here I have two corrupted monsters. Well, one of them caused like, it doesn't really matter. Just take a look at the elements, basically fire with nature, right? I could even do, for example, the dew with Dratus or Nidorfunk or King Charmless. You guys get the point. It's literally two elements mixed together, right? Like this. So we, once you get something like this, go and start your breeding. Uh, it takes about six seconds once you have a three-star breeding guardian. So you'll need about seven million gold or so to activate this. So make sure you activate it. And then once it's activated, it, it only takes like literally six seconds or so for it to finish breeding. As you can see, I take it, I got a panic in, right? Sometimes you end up getting, for example, trees art, and that's completely fine. You can always sell the egg, or you can rank it up if you want, but I personally just sell them because I don't need it. You, you can also use your second breeding and do the same exact thing, combining a fire element monster with a nature one. So here what do you get? we got a panic in, right? I'm going to go ahead and hatch it, put it in my monster vault. Make sure you have tons of space. Right now, I don't have too many because I have lots of panikins and many other monsters on my monster vault. Uh, you can, of course, place them in your uh, habitats as well if you have habitats and you don't want to use your vault. That's completely fine. But once you get tons of panikin monsters hatched, all of them level one, of course, you don't even need to feed them, by the way. You just want to head over to extraction and you want to extract the mannequins, right? So go and extract that. It takes about three seconds, four seconds, actually, the most, but three seconds. All right. So you wait that three to four seconds and look, you collect 50 cells and you want to continue extracting over and over again, right? So it continues extracting. You don't even have to gem it or anything like that. It literally takes three to four seconds. So you continue getting the cells. Once you get the cells, head over to your ranking pod and you want to rank one of them to the max. So let me scroll down. I just went ahead and ranked up one of them to like rank three. Here it is, another one, rank four. It takes 15 seconds for it to rank up. So literally, it doesn't matter what rank you want to go to, it all takes 15 seconds. Super, super quick, right? Take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and wait the three seconds. It's about to be done. And just like that, rank four. And now I can go ahead and filter through again. And as you guys can see, we've got the panic in here. And the last one takes like 740 cells, but you can go ahead and rank it up again. And take a look at it still 15 seconds so while that's you know ranking up you can always just either extract monsters or you can go ahead and sell these green SR, breed more panicans basically so there it is and now i can go ahead and head over back to my you know monster lab and as you guys can see we got a rank five now before i feed this rank five i want to show you guys something real quick i have about 311 million food right fed 311 million keep that in mind so it's 311. We head over here. Let's go over to rare monsters. Where's my rank five? My rank five panicking that I haven't fed yet. I'm going to go on and feed it. And then I'm going to go on and show you guys how much this rank five panicking actually takes. And if you continue this process over and over again, it will be time consuming. But trust me, you continue doing this. 
it will guarantee you the 100 gems literally every week. So imagine getting 100 gems every week. Uh, if you want to go for more, top 3 is available. But this is just from top 4 to, of course, 50. Now look at the ending. Look how much food it takes. You see that? We ended with 144,000. Now, here's the thing. Before I head over to Food Spurt and show you guys how much it took. Remember, I had 311 million, right? Now, let's just wait a couple of seconds because remember, it takes some time for it to refresh. Now, let's head over back down. 318 million. So, we went from 311 million to 318 million. That's about 7 to 8 million food, basically. Um, sometimes it takes a little more time to refresh, but uh, yeah, I think 318. 318 million is the max. Okay, cool. So that's a final, of course. And I know this top five player is trying to steal my spot at top four. And that's completely fine. I don't really care if he ends up doing it. That's completely fine. But because look at these other players. These other players, they still have like a day and seven hours, right? And look, up to top 50. Up to top 50. Where the heck is top 50? Top 50 player has only 93 million food fat. And I have 300 million. So I could literally just quit this right now. And I'll be fine, and I'll be getting 100 gems. And on top of that, I also got 20 gems. Let's count this as well. So I basically got 120 gems from this growth spurt. And remember, every weekend, if you continue doing this, or if I continue doing this, I can earn myself 120 gems, basically, in total. Remember, 100 gems, and then um, 20 over here, right? So 120, 120. So you can get a lot of gems every week by doing this. Uh, and here's the thing. You can always do this, by the way. You can always prepare ahead, right? So you have a whole weekend to rank up these panikins and have them to rank 5, but don't feed them. So then when growth spurt comes, all you have to do is just feed those panikins like this. You know what I mean? Literally that simple. And if you want to go for like the top 3, of course you need tons of food, even more. But the top 50, the top 50, I'd say the max you need is probably like 200 million just to be safe. I know I have 300 million, but I could literally quit right now and I'll be fine. Um, I just like my name being up here in the top five or something or top four of the leaderboard. It just looks nice. I used to be in the top three yesterday, but uh, right now the top three has 521 million fat, uh, food fat and the first player has 812 million. Um, but yeah, just think about this process, guys. If you have tons of food, why not trade it? Because if you think about it, you're not going to save all this food for, you know, just being there you're like oh i need it for a monster no you really don't like if you have over at least 500 million you don't really need it why not trade those at least 200 to 300 million food for 100 gems you know because food is super easy to obtain all you have to do is head over to your growth spurt and you can literally just continue you know growing these um black lotus which we gives you 200,000 there and on top of that if we head over here to the food guardian right i can always activate this and basically, it's going to double up again. So that's basically 400,000 uh, per each farm. And since I have a really good gold income, right? I have 34 billion. I can trade that tw uh, 34 billion into another 2 billion if I wanted to. Of course, it will take time. But hey, it's it, it's going to be worth it. Like, don't just let your food and golds just sit there. Uh, let it do something, of course. Um, but yeah, this process, it takes some effort. But if you want to save yourself time during the all you have to do is have them ready ahead okay before it actually begins so you can always do that um but this growth spurt i started about 10 to 15 hours late uh, when i logged on it was around morning and i was actually 10 to 12 hours late um but i still went for it i made it to top three now it's top four because the top three players just had to steal my spot with 521 million like i'm sure many of you guys that logged into the game yesterday you saw me in the top three for those of you that actually checked the growth spurt you should have seen me to top three but right now just top four um and remember i can always quit right now and save the rest of my food for future growth spurts and i think that is, that's what i'll do i don't really care about the spots here because remember it's from top four to 50 and the top 50 once again only has about how much 93 million food fat so I doubt that player will even go for where I am. Now another thing is, the reason why maybe it's taken me like 3 to 4 seconds for this to finish extracting is because of the 30% extracting time boost from the Legends Pass. So if you want to get yourself that extracting time boost from the Legends Pass, go for it. But if not, that it's probably going to be like, I don't know, 15 second max from just extracting these monsters. 
Um, so that's why you can always plan ahead, you know. But for me, it takes three to four seconds because of the Legends Pass. Uh, but it, normally, it should take about 15 seconds if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to let you guys know. You know, I wanted to share this with you guys so you all know. And you can earn yourself over 100 gems every weekend. Uh, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And share it with your friends as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.